So welcome back to my channel, this is Gamer Dom, and we're back on the test server. This is 9.22 test server, went live on Friday, um, ready for the new patch which comes in in um, sort of early mid-February we believe, no, not entirely sure when. Um, so the main feature of this is the changes to the Russian tech tree. So here we go, you have... Uh, changes to the TD line, so the SU-100M1 uh, into the SU-101, then the two six, Object 263 has been pulled down from Tier 10. Here it is here, oops, right, a bit of a... So it's been uh, brought down a tier to Tier 9 and somewhat nerfed, and then you have this brand new tank, which is the Object 268 version 4. Pretty meaty looking beastie, huh? Pretty meaty. Um, other things to look at. You also have... Whoops. Changes here to the um, to the medium line. So there is a new um, Object 430 at Tier 9. It comes out of the T44. So here we go. There it is. <coughs> looks like someone sat on it doesn't it wow sleek looking beastie and moves on into the object 430 U. oh excuse me into the 430 U. pretty ugly looking one that one about the truth be said truth be told um the other changes are on the uh, this line. So the um, uh, so basically they've taken the 430 away from this line, pushed it up into its own line. The 430 version two here will now lead into a new a new tier 10, but we don't know what that is yet because it's not there yet. Then there is a whole new heavy tank line which comes off the IS tree, goes to this fella, the ISM, a rear mounted, rear turret mounted tank, which is intriguing, lots of armour, big guns seems to be the feature of this tech tree, into the new tier 9 which is the object 705, which looks rather more centred as a as a turret and then into the top of the tree this thing the object 705A wow look at the size of that gun what gun is that 152mm gun wow just wow 256 penetration with a standard round very nice indeed so there you go um, Oops, didn't look. Didn't mean to come out of that. So those are the main changes in terms of the tech trees. Um, except you've obviously also got the T10 has now dropped down out of this tech tree. So it used to sit here between the IS-3 and the IS-7. It's now in a new line which will lead on to a new tier 10, which we don't know what there is. So we've got one and two new tier 10s that we don't know when they're what they are. So in, instead you have this object 5... Uh, 527 here which is the new tier 9 instead of the uh, T10 I don't know yeah. that's I suppose visually it looks like the son of a IS3 it looks fatter it's a fat IS3 basically isn't it that's what you'd say on that one so yeah so those are the changes that are coming um, let's have a look at it in a little bit more detail. We're going to have a look at uh, the tank destroyer line, I think, primarily. So here we go. Here's the new Tier 10 tank destroyer. This is the Object 2684 on the Russian tech tree. So this will replace the Object 263, uh, which drops down to Tier 9. This thing comes in at Tier 10. Um, and it does look a bit of a brute, has to be honest. I has to be honest. So first up, let's look at the important thing: the boomstick. Let's open it up this way. There we go. 152 millimeter gun, 
uh, fires at 3.53 rounds per minute with 100% crew, uh, 293 average penetration with standard round, 360 with uh, heat and 90 with HE, 650 average damage, wow, 850 with the HE, but dispersion is god awful, 0.42 um, and aim time of 2. So looking at that, it's a tank that needs to get up close and personal. So can it? Well, it appears it probably can. That frontal armour is 250 millimetres and 100 at the side and 45 at the top. Also has 2,100 hit points. So on the surface, that looks to have pretty good armour. So with the standard 100% crew, you're getting a very, very healthy 2,393 average damage per minute which is actually not bad at all. Uh, gun traverse is 12 degrees each side, which is meh. And obviously because it's a rear mounted turret, it's only five degrees gun depression. Uh, but the gun traverse speed is very good, 31. So it will whip round reasonably quickly to acquire its new targets. Um, oops, Sorry. mobility wise, well, it's a 75 ton vehicle with 150, a 1,500 horsepower engine. Gives you a 20 power ratio, which is very, very good. 55 top speed and more important reverse speed of 22. So not bad either. Nearly 24 traverse speed, which is, I repeat myself, not bad at all. So it looks a fairly mobile thing. 13.91 um, camo, so not terrible. Not terrible. I mean, with that accuracy of that gun, this is obviously, and the armour, means that you really think you should play this by getting up close and personal. And, and if you look at the, the notes that accompany the changes to this tech tree, that's what Wargamer wants it to be. Uh, this tech tree wants to be in-your-face type of assault gun tank. Um, so, but even so, 13.91 without any camo, without any crew, is pretty good. Uh, view range is awful, 370 for a tier 10 is pretty god awful. So let me equip it and we'll take it out and see what we can do. Okay, so that's that all equipped. Um, it's a, a five man crew. Um, you get you have to put in an extra loader, which is a bit annoying from the Sioux down at uh, 7 and 8, which only have four man crews. Um, but by the time you get to tier 9, you need five, and then tier 10 also need five, so that's a bit of a pain. Um, so what have I put on it? Wow, look, it's got a log. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful tank because it's got a log on it. Um, I put a gun, la a gun rammer, of obviously vents to help everything, and a gun lane drive to help that aim time, um, which has made my aim time now 1.71 with this crew. Uh, they got brothers in arms, not quite brothers in arms, so a little bit shy of brothers in arms on this. Dispersion is down to 0.39, which is nice, and DPM is up to 2,700. And with the camo on it, 25% uh, camo rating is actually pretty good. So let's take it out and see what we can do. Okay, so here we are on um, Arctic region. It's obviously a tier 10 game. Quite a few of these things out on the road, plus a lot of object 705, uh, 705As. Lots of, lots of people trying out their new tanks, basically. But you'd expect that, right? Um, what should we do? Now, in keeping with how I thought we play, let's go and play with the heavies. That's the uh, new tier 10 Russian heavy. Pretty nimble, aren't we? Pretty nimble. Pacing these uh, heavies quite easily. No lights, no artillery, just my gun. Get to the corner, get into a hold out position because it's got pretty good armor this thing. Reload, reload. Too late. Two shots missed. Join the armor now, no, that's there. Oh, flipping egg. What's that?
had anything. That was fully aimed, wasn't it? So where am I getting the weak spots? Keep hitting me! Damaging hit I've taken. bouncy armor gun is a little I'm yeah gun's okay actually when it hits it hits hard it's a really nice TD though whoa one like this Left, got 
vehicle, that's for sure. Though. So nice, um, nice speed. A bit heavy on the tank. Why did I think I hit that first time? Let's see where I got hit. There you go, first time out on it. Missed a few early shots, that's for sure, and got a bit caught up in all the in the heavy tangles there. But look at the amount of blocked there. Very nice. So that was a third class. We got uh, shell proof and fire for effect. Uh, what did it finish on the team? Fifth on the team, 3,232 damage, 802 base XP. 13 shots hit with 9, penned with 5. Uh, took 9 hits myself, only one of which penned us. And I blocked 3,790. I mean, and they were all firing heat and heavy shit at me. Uh, 27,500 credits. Did fire a couple of premium myself, so I ended up losing. But you don't have a premium account with this. Would have made money on a standard, on a premium account on the, on the real server. Uh, 8 bonds as well. 1,600 uh, experience for the crew. So I like this a lot. Well, I mean, it's got a log, so of course you're going to like it. But, yeah, let's try again, see what else we can do. Okay, so here we are on um, Arctic region. It's obviously a tier 10 game. Quite a few of these things out on the road, plus a lot of objects, 705, uh, 705As. Lots of, lots of people trying out their new tanks, basically. But you'd expect that, right? Um, what should we do? Now, in keeping with how I play, let's go and play with the heavies. That's the uh, new tier 10 Russian heavy. Pretty nimble, aren't we? Pretty nimble. Well, are pacing these uh, heavies quite easily. No lights, no artillery. Reload, reload. Too late. Two shots missed. Join the armor now, no, that's there. Oh, fucking egg. Anything. That was fully aimed, wasn't it? So where am I getting the weak spots? Same thing as Kipper right there. Wow! Been jostling by the little guy just down the pizza. Gun. Love the sound effects of this gun. Lock shells nice and look at the armor. Come on, give me some to aim for. Good for a snapshot, this thing. 
keep hitting me. Damaging hit I've taken. bouncy armor gun is a little I'm yeah gun's okay actually when it hits it hits hard it's a really nice TD though whoa one like this There you go, first time out, and it missed a few early shots, that's for sure, and got a bit caught up in all the in the heavy tangles there. But look at the amount I blocked there. Very nice. Yeah, sure enough, that was a loss. Uh, we got far for effect. Um, boom, 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 boom. Actually finished third on the team. 2,384 damage, two kills. 481 base XP just shows how shocking most of our team were. Um, seven shots, seven hits, five pens for that 2300. Took 11 hits, still bounced four. And we were bouncing heavy guns. All those uh, heavy tanks were firing at us and blocked 3700, largely firing a um, APCR and uh, heated us. Uh, nearly 20,000 credits. I did get shot in the arse. I think it was that light tank. Little bugger. Um, two and a half thousand credits, um, including the compensation, but ended up losing twen nearly twenty nine thousand. Would have lost still seventeen and a half with a premium account, and five. Many I did fire heat when I didn't actually mean to. Um, I actually swapped over to heat just to see what the penetration values were like, whether I'd actually managed to go through some of those turrets, but no, no chance. Five bonds earned and four hundred and eighty one XP. So we'll try one more. 
I'm enjoying this a lot. I think it's a nice TD. I'm going to be working my way down this line, that is for sure. I'm stuck at tier 8 at the moment, not enjoying that immensely, so I'm going to put the effort in now, try and get to tier 9 and tier 10. So, anyway, let's go back out, have some fun. Okay, so this time we've got Windstorm, it's a tier 10 game, obviously. Um, slightly less Russian tanks than the, t than the teams this time. What really makes me wonder with this um, this TD is how dominant it is going to be in a t against tier eight. I mean, I, I don't know how many games I've played now, probably about a dozen or so, and I've regularly, even on, I just had a bad game when I blocked two and a half thousand damage on this thing, and gave out something like two thousand damage. It is just a brute. Thought of that against Tier 8. My lord. If you can get this thing with lower plate covered, it's just unbelievable. It's got speed. I think it's just fantastic. He's firing heat, I'll try and stand it. What's this grill doing?
taking, taking on head to head. We're losing the game, mind. Bond. <laughs> ah! Couldn't do anything about that. Look at all that though. Heat, HE, it's premium HE, heat. Wow. Still. What a tank. What a tank. I love this thing. Yeah, nothing special. 3,200 damage, 300 and... Well, 3,200 on a defeat like that is not bad at all. Nine shots hit with seven, penned with five, blocked 2,400. Lost 16,000 credits, but I didn't fight any premium in that. Didn't need to. Um, 33 XP, so... Yes... So I have to say, I absolutely adore this tank. You know, it's got a log and everything. I mean, you know, what, what, what more do you want? It's got a cheese grater for a gun. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, it's a monster. Absolute monster. I mean, that armor is awesome. You bl block all kinds of shots, even firing premiums at premium rounds at you, which they all do on the test server. Um, and the gun has some punch. It does bounce a fair bit, but, you know, 293 average pen with 650 average damage um, is pretty pokey and that's without resorting to the skill rounds I think this is a monster um, yeah absolute monster I just pity any tier 8s that have to go up against this thing oh, I can just imagine it just horrific for them anyway that's the first look at the test server from me I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so in the meantime enjoy your games have fun Try not to take it too seriously, and I will see you again soon. This is Gamer Dom, signing out.